Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Popeye, them finos say you're firm on street. And the news where you carry are no counterfeit. So tell all who are fighter you, them can't defeat. And I got give your strength so your heart no weak. Mm-hmm. So I say God and greatness. Like, subscribe, and share to Popeye News Links if it's the truth you want to hear. So yeah. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. We were supposed to be having Dr. Hugh Elliott today, but due to circumstances beyond his control, he'll be back next week, Tuesday evening, April 23. Stand by for that. So today, we have a jam-packed video. First up, I'm going to show you a video in the background. The video is of an incident that took place at a shop on the Jack Ruby Plaza at James Avenue in Ocherius in the parish of St. Anne. Reports are that the operators of the shop, they securely locked it up. Saturday night, April 13. Yesterday morning, Monday, April 15, about 9 o'clock. It was observed that the shop was broken into. When further checks were made, it was observed that a hoodlum or hoodlums broke the glass to the front door. The locks and the grill were then broken off. A hoodlum then entered the store where he pried off the lock of a standing showcase and stole 45 cellular phones, both Apple and Android, as well as Three Apple tablets are valuing at over 3 million Jamaican dollars. The hoodlum, he then made good his escape. Just like that. Now, keep watching the video until I start today's journey. We are still traveling along the highway. Over at Old Arba in the parish of St. Catherine, the management of Concept Appliance and Furniture Store Located at South Street in Old Arbor. They securely locked it up Saturday night, April 13, about 7.30. On Sunday morning, April 14, it was discovered that the store was broken into. Hoodlums damaged the wall to the back of the store where they dug a hole in the wall. The hoodlums, they entered and stole a total of 17,000 United States dollars. 2,400 Canadian dollars, 1,600 pounds, and 2.3 million Jamaican dollars. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape. Just like that. Over in the parish of St. James, detectives at the Montego Bay Sissoka office, they have arrested and charged a 21-year-old security guard. His name is Brian Stevenson, and he's living at Canaan District in the parish of St. James. The allegations are that Brian, he was employed as a security guard and he was based at the Dumfries Primary School in St. James. In September of last year, Brian, he met and started communicating with a 10-year-old girl at the school. In early January of this year, Brian, he gave the girl his phone number and told her to text him. The now 11-year-old girl, she texted him and they began communicating via WhatsApp. It is alleged that on many occasions, Brian, he would ask the 11-year-old girl for sex and told her that he wanted her to be his girlfriend. We are told that sometime after, a family member of the girl became aware of the text messages. That family member went to the school and confronted the security guard. Another family member became aware and a report was made to the police. An investigation was launched and Brian, he turned himself over to the police. As a result, he was charged by the police for sexual grooming of a child. So, Brian, he'll be going to the courts shortly. <laughs> Boy, I may I tell you, you know. <laughs> anyway, Still in the parish of St. James, the Montego Bay Police, they have arrested and charged a 30-year-old bus driver named Marcel Heath. He is popularly known as Miguel. 
Miguel is living in the Springmount area of St. James. Miguel, he was charged in connection with an incident that took place at Jarrett Street in Montego Bay. This incident took place Sunday night, April 14, about 8 o'clock. We are told that Miguel and a guy, he's in his mid-40s and he's popularly known as Poison. They got into an argument. During that argument, the allegations are that Miguel, he used a brown handle paring knife to inflict serious wounds to Poison's neck and the right side of his chest. The police, they were called and they transported Poison to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted in a serious condition. Miguel, he was also held by the police and he has since been charged for wounding with intent and he'll be going to the courts shortly. In this next incident, this one took place last night, Monday, April 15, about 9.30. It took place in the vicinity of the Seventh-day Adventist Church at Edgel in the Sentence Bay area of Sentan. Our information is that a team of police officers, they were on patrol when they received information that one of their colleagues was shot. I will soon tell you more about that incident. The officers, they were traveling along Bravo Street when on reaching the Seventh-day Adventist Church. They saw a motorcycle with two guys aboard traveling towards them. The police signaled them to stop, but the allegations are that they disobeyed and rode past the police vehicle. The police, they are claiming that they jumped out of the service vehicle and commanded the guys on the bike to stop. The rider for the bike, he ended up losing control of it. As a result, the bike overturned. The police, they are claiming that that guy on your screen, he was riding the bike. His name is Ceraldo Butler, but he's popularly known as Siri. The police, they are claiming that Siri, he pulled a gun and opened gunfire at them. They are saying that they took evasive action and returned the fire. And the two guys, they ran off in separate directions. They chased them, but Siri, he made good his escape. The pillion on the bike, he was held by the police. He has not been charged. Neither is he wanted by the police. So, I'm not going to be giving you his name. But he is 22 years old and he is living at Edgil District in the Sentence Bay area. So, Siri, he's wanted by the police for allegedly shooting at them. In this next incident, on Sunday, I carried a story. It was about an incident that took place Friday night, April 12, at Porter's Mountain in the parish of Westmoreland. I told you that a 47-year-old mother and her husband accompanied her daughter to her daughter's baby father's house. The name of that baby father is Keith Spence, but he's popularly known as Trash. He was born on February 26, 1956. 68 years old. So the mother and her husband accompanied the daughter to Trash House to assist her in moving out because she claimed that Trash was mistreating her. While they were in the area, it has been alleged that Trash, he opened gunfire at them, but they managed to escape unhurt. Well, on Sunday evening, after I brought the story, Trash, he went in and he gave himself up to the police. He has now been charged for one, two counts of shooting with intent, two, using a prohibited weapon to commit a felony, and three, possession of a prohibited weapon. So, 68-year-old Trash, he'll be going to the courts shortly. And still in the parish of Westmoreland, the police, they are searching for that guy on your screen. His name is Ashroy Johnson and he's living in the Shrewsbury area of Petersfield in the parish of Westmoreland. The reason why he's wanted by the police is due to an incident that took place on Friday afternoon, April 12, about 5 o'clock. It took place in the vicinity of the Petersfield High School in the parish of 
Westmoreland. We are learning that Ashrai, him love for draw for him machete. Because this is not the first time he's wounding someone with a machete. It is said that Ashroy and his 20-year-old baby mother, Ashley, they had a dispute. What did Ashroy do? Him draw for him strength, a machete. He inflicted a serious wound to Ashley's right hand, taking it off completely. Did you hear that? Ashley's right hand was taken off completely. Ashroy, he also inflicted several more wounds to Ashley's head and other parts of her body. Ashley, she was rushed to a hospital where she was treated and admitted. So, Ashroy, he's now wanted by the police. Boy, may I may tell you. Now, in this next story, I carried a story yesterday and I promised to update it. It took place yesterday morning. Monday, April 15, about 10.30. It took place at the Sandy Bay Health Center in the parish of Hanover. Baggio is 25 years old and he was shot and injured last month at Hellgate in the Mount Pelia area of Hanover. Let me remind you about what Baggio said on his hospital bed. Listen this. Not really. Boy from Andrew Romeo Jovi, the whole of them a problem, may I tell you. You all right now, the whole of them better run from Mumpela, you know. Right now, low and kill we are kill them out up there. I don't think they go ever do. Go shot me in my barn and grow place. So you hear about him right now, they are sad. They are not my dark out right now, tell you. Just go and watch out your hair and stay off the road. Hey dog, them in the air ground enough you know, for my boy them front door. Just go and watch out your hair and they are so go and hold them till the time. Right? You heard that? Well, since then, pure mayhem. The police, they have arrested and charged two of the guys who allegedly shot and injured Baggio. But there is no end in sight to this mayhem. So, look how easy innocent people got caught up in what is happening. Yesterday, Baggio and other persons were at the health center. A hoodlum who knew that Baggio was there went there and opened gunfire at him. Baggio and the other persons in the health center, they ran off in separate directions. Hoodlum Baggio, he ran to the nearby Sandy Bay police station for refuge. The hoodlum who did the shooting then made good his escape. Baggio, he received gunshot wounds to the back of his head which exited through his face and his right hand. A 57-year-old man received gunshot wounds to his right hand and a 66-year-old lady, she received gunshot wounds to her left shoulder. They were rushed to hospital where Baggio, he was admitted in a serious condition. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, a total of 12 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. This next incident, it took place last night. Monday, April 15, about 7.30. It took place under the White River Bridge in Ocherius in the parish of St. Anne. We are learning that a 25-year-old fisherman, popularly known as Squid, he's living in the Ocherius area. Squid, he had just come up from the White River Beach and he was sitting under the bridge. Squid was talking to a group of men when a hoodlum approached, pulled a gun and opened gunfire at Squid. Squid, he managed to jump into the river and swam to the other side, making good his escape from the hoodlum. The hoodlum, he then walked up the flight of stairs that lead to the main road and made good his escape. We are told that Squid, he received a gunshot wound to the upper left side of his back. The police, they were called and when they processed this crime scene, Five 9mm pen shells were recovered 
from the scene. The mayhem. Now, in yesterday's video, I told you about an incident that took place in the Irwin area of St. James. I told you that that hoodlum on your screen, his name is Brandon Campbell, but he was also known as Ratty. Ratty is originally from a place named Content near to Fort William in the parish of Westmoreland. But years ago, he moved to the Granville area of St. James. Ratty, he was killed after he attacked a shop owner. At the end of the story I did yesterday, I had said that a female family member of the licensed firearm holder was known by cronies of Ratty. At the end of the stories, I'm going to let you hear a conversation I had with that female family member, the daughter of the licensed firearm holder, because she and her mother, they are now being targeted by hoodlums. You're not going to want to miss this conversation. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be one of the first to be notified. In the final story for today, a policeman was killed and I am sure that you have been hearing all kinds of stories. I did some digging and I'm going to be giving you the exclusive details as to exactly what took place. About 8.30 last night, a 24-year-old female vendor, she was standing in the vicinity of the Jane Bank along Bravo Street in the St. Bay area of St. While she was standing there, a hoodlum approached her with a gun in his hand. The hoodlum, he immediately opened gunfire at the female, hitting her to her upper body. That man on your screen, his name is Ricardo Fearclough. He was a 45-year-old police constable attached to the nearby St. Bay police station. He also lived in the same St. Bay area. Constable Fearclough, he was in the vicinity of the St. Bay fire station and he saw the guy shooting the female. Constable Fearclough, he did what he was trained to do, protecting life and property. Constable Fearclough, he immediately pulled his weapon and opened gunfire at the hoodlum who returned the fire at Constable Fearclough. The police officer, he received gunshot wounds to his chest. The hoodlum who was also shot, he managed to run down Musgrave Street and made good his escape on a waiting motorcycle. I said the hoodlum was shot because a trail of blood was seen. Constable Fearclough and the female, they were rushed to the Sentence Bay Hospital where the police officer, he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E the female, she was admitted in a serious condition and let's hope that she survives because it is likely that she knows who the attacker is. Hear this now. About minutes after 10 o'clock last night, a 27-year-old guy, he turned up at the Falmouth Hospital. He had gunshot wounds to his abdomen and his left hand. The police, they were informed and when they went to the hospital and questioned this guy, he told them that he was standing along the roadway in Salt Marsh waiting on a taxi. He said while he was there, a white Toyota Axio motor car drove up and stopped and the guys in the car demanded his cell phone. He said he refused and the guys shot him and took his phone and escape. He told the police that he was assisted to the hospital by a resident. Well, our information is that this guy who has addresses at Bamboo Spring in the Ulster Spring area of Trelawney and Cascade in Sentan. He is the same hoodlum who killed the policeman and 
injured the female. He is now in serious condition in hospital. More to come. The mayhem continues. And now, as promised, here is my conversation with a female. She is the daughter of the licensed firearm holder who was involved in the killing of Ratty on Sunday. Listen to this. Hello. Morning, morning, Wagwan. How you doing? Wagwan, Wagwan. <laughs> how, you, how, you, how, you, how you keeping? You keeping safe? I'm not safe, you know. Mm. God, these people and people they target me and my family, them know. And me and him have no relationship. It's just a sperm donor. Yeah, talk about the man what they did in the shooting. What, what them say kill? Uh, shoot Ratty. Yeah. Eh, but I understand. Eh, yeah, go on, go on. People they target me, my mother and my brother them. See how we father do it and he's not a father. Mm. He's a sperm doing of that. Mm. Me are 28 years old, so 29. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. And my mother left from before me born. We don't have no relationship. He never buy me a school shoes nor a bag nor nothing. Mm -hmm. So I shot people and I make them a target. They say they can't hold it for them go all the way. Mm -hmm. We don't have nothing to do with that. Alright, tell me how they're a target. You know? how, how, why you say they're a target? You? Be a message of sin, threat of sin. My mother business place of a lock up. They mm. circle it more than one time. Mm. So the business place now open now? No. Oh. Lock. Happy yeah. lock. Yeah. So the police are where are going? Well, a police lock up yesterday, you know, so obviously they must have an idea they might hear because why they would have just gone lock up the brawling, so Okay, okay. Oh, so them, them come, oh, the, the place opened yesterday and then come lock it up. Okay. Now the morning, about 45 minutes after. Mm hmm. A party take place. Yeah, so them, them, them circle the place. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I okay. circle it again, so I just want this go out and make them know, say, yo, that the man there, live in yard with his family and married and been pitting them. And <laughs> Lord have mercy. 31, about 30 years ago with an immediate family that they know where they live up the name for one. Mm. And me and the well known one enough. You, know. mm -hmm. you understand me? Yes, yes, yes. So I want to know the people, we don't have nothing to do with that with sperm doing a shot man. We don't have nothing to do with that. But, boy, I want to do it, you know, because it's not like you have nothing to do with that. And I, and I you, they're my target. And it's not like, what you saying, not playing a role in your life since, since you are grown. No grew. role in my life. Mm. Mm. Uh, my mother not even talk. My mother ate him like poison. Mm. I get locked up for him already. I can put him on for me already, like when I go to school. Mm -hmm. In I make you know, say, yo, you know, mind me and take care of me, you can't lick me, so I just start send some big stone for him and police lock me up on one bag of something. Okay, okay. I'm in mean, high school, so. Mm hmm. Oh, and just get that out there. We don't have nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. If you go just pick him, and that the man, they have more than 10 pitney, so why they are just a target? They are true, yeah. You see me? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah, the last one for your mother? Yes. Okay. I mean, I'm 28, I'm 29 this year, and they left from before my bonds, so and nearly 30 years that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, um, all right. We'll make people people hear this, and and in in the meantime, just do do whatever I take for for, for protecting yourself, yeah, man, because you know the threat is real. It you just, just have to be careful, you know. So mm -hmm. that for sure, yo. A quarter, my mother have to go to get a little dollar from him. I'm a granny. Tear up the, the paper one day and say, yo, left him. Mm -hmm. You pity they must grow. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see me? Yes, yes. Poor sauce. My granny tear up the paper and say, you pity they must mm -hmm. get big. Left him alone. Mm -hmm. Ah, boy. Alright, just, just, just stay safe, stay safe and we're going to put it out and make people know, so boy, you have nothing to do with it. You, you, you know. It's uh, unfair. It's yeah. really unfair still enough. Mm -hmm. So we have to stop all of the business now and the hide from people and I got dead for this man where whenever business with Wicca, me go call him and I said to him, say, yo, Ray, Ray, Ray. Mm -hmm. Him go or say. He not, he not even know my phone number because I call him and go say, oh, this. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You understand? So mm-hmm. me go tell him, say, yo, we, 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 who are good on the shop and he, he must say, if me, if we can pay him to come down there, what kind of thought that? You never try to say, yo, yo, protect your family. as what they say. I don't know a family thing, you know, but mm-hmm. you see me? Yes, yes, yes. He must say, if we can pay him to stay down there, what kind of thought that? Tell me now. That sound like a father. <laughs> yo, hear me, I say, no people. I'm going to go look for that man here. Uh, me and my brother, them and my mother, no involved in that. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, man. Take care. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We talk. We talk. Yeah. Let's see us. Right. Yeah, man. Cool. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend. For tell a friend. For tell a friend about Papa News Link. Papa Link. And PNL Blog TV. PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Are we care. Quick silver sin. Jamaica become now the land of the gum. East and north.